This app mostly works, but it has one fatal flaw. Any data we add gets wiped out when the app is relaunched, which doesn't make it much use for remembering who we met. We can fix this by making the prospects initializer able to load data from user defaults, then write it back when the data changes. This time our data is stored in a slightly easier format. Although the prospects class uses the at publish property wrapper, the people array inside it is simple enough that it already conforms to codable just by adding the protocol conformance. So we can get most of the way to our goal by making three small changes. First, updating the prospects initializer so it loads its data from user defaults where possible. Second, adding a save modifier to the same class, writing the current data to user defaults. And third, calling save when adding a prospect or toggling it is contacted property. We've looked at the code to do all that individually, so let's get to it. We already have a simple initializer for prospects, so we can update it to use user defaults like this. If let data equals user defaults dot standard dot data for key, save data. If let decoded equals try question mark JSON decoder dot decode array of prospect dot self from data. Self dot people equals decoded return. And if we're still here, we'll keep the existing self.people equals empty array line. As for the save method, this will do the same thing in reverse. Add this. Func save. If let encoded equals try JSON encoder dot encode people. User default dot standard dot set encoded for key save data. Our data has changed in two places, so we have to make both of those call save to make sure the data is always written out. The first is in the update method of prospects, so modify it to this. Save. The second is in the handle scan result method of prospects view, where we add new prospects to the array. So find this line here and add this directly below. Self.prospects.save. If you're on the app now, you'll see that any contacts you add will remain there even after you relaunch the app. So we could easily stop here. However, this time I want to go a stage further and fix two other problems. First, we've had to hard code the key name save data in two places, which again might cause problems in the future if the name changes or has to be used in more places. And second, having to call save inside prospects view isn't good design, partly because our view really shouldn't know about the internal workings of its model, but also because if we have other views working with the data, then we might forget to call save there. To fix the first problem, we should create a static property on prospects to contain our save key. So we use that property rather than a string for user defaults. So add this to the prospects class now. Static let save key equals save data. We can then use that rather than the hard coded string. First by modifying the initializer like this, self.save key, and by modifying the save method to this, for key self.save key. This approach is much safer in the long term. It's far too easy to write save key with a capital S or saved key with a D by accident, and in doing so, introduce all sorts of bugs. As for the problem of calling save, this is actually a deeper problem. When we write code like self.prospects.people.append person, we're breaking a software engineering principle known as encapsulation. This is the idea that we should limit how much external objects can read and write values inside a class or a struct, and instead provide methods for reading, called getters, and writing, called setters, for that data. In practical terms, this means rather than writing self.prospects.people.append person, we instead create a new add method on the prospects class, so we can instead write code like this, self.prospects.add person. The result will be the same. Our code adds a person to the people array, but now the implementation's hidden away. This means we could switch the array out to something else and prospects view wouldn't break, but also means we can add extra functionality to the add method. To solve the second problem, we're going to create an add method in prospects, so we can internally trigger save. Func add underscore prospect prospect. People that append prospect save. Even better, we can use access control to stop external writes to the people array, meaning that our views must use the add method to add prospects. 
This is done by changing the definition of people to this, private set. Now that only code inside prospects calls a save method, we can mark that as being private too. This helps lock down our code so we can't make mistakes by accident. The compiler simply won't allow it. In fact, if you try building the code now, you'll see exactly what I mean. Prospects view tries to append to the people array and call save, which is no longer allowed. To fix our error and get our code compiling cleanly again, replace those two lines with this. Self dot prospect dot add person. Switching away from strings, then using encapsulation and access control are simple ways of making our code safer and are some great steps towards building better software.